Light blinking away. Set. Holding them up in the gates. Movement from one of the stalls towards the outside. They're racing now, though, and foreseen an illustrious tycoon, the first to get going from Shark Mouth, and also one short, the Andes. Verve de Vigas going to poke up just behind those from Sixpence Spent, Oliver's Travels, and Shady Grey a little wider. A Knight of Pro going back, and also back there, the two in the Cerise and White Royal Command, and towards the tail is Show Honey. Less than 800 to travel, and it's the favourite, the easing favourite, illustrious tycoon, the three roll that now races to the lead from four scene. Sharkmouth, the Andes, sitting in the cheap seats. Then one short Verve de Vega going up next of all in a compact field. Shady Grey a little wider. Then Sixpence Spent, who's down near the inside. Oliver's Travels is back in some traffic. They're followed by Royal Commander, Knight of Pro, and still last Show Honey. Around the corner, an illustrious tycoon about to be given his head. Boots two in front from the Andes. Sharkmouth and one short. He's often going with illustrious tycoon. Shady Grey further back starts to make up some ground in Royal Command. He's into the leader at the 150 illustrious tycoon. Shady Grey is starting to run on the post looming. Illustrious tycoon. Shady Grey won't get to him, I don't think, and he scrambles in. Illustrious tycoon just won from Shady Grey. Oliver's Travels getting out of the ground. Late is there and so is Royal Command. And deeper out as well, Show Honey. And a nice run, a night of pro on their heels with the Andes, followed by one short. Uh, they were followed further back in the field, Sixpence Spent, who was over towards the rails, then foreseen Verve de Viga and Sharkmouth. Illustrious Tycoon has uh, just scrambled across the line for Jared Noski to boot home a double, 320-180, got the blows in the market. He took up the roll, he was almost grabbed by Shady Gray down the outside but has had enough in hand and the three-year-old salutes to make it three out of three tight go oliver's travels or royal command oliver's travels grabs third from royal command sixpence spent is near the rail and finished up a little closer to them than may have been the case in the run on there so we wait for the full list of the numbers illustrious tycoon though the winner for b mrs y db mrs l morris trained by trevor andrews Handled by Jared Noski, beating Shady Gray by Vital Equine from Queen of the Rings, David Caruana, and written by Brody Kirby. 6.40 the place, the long shot. And Oliver's Travels, who got going late, had to bullock his way clear by Saxon from Nurse Norma for David Reed, trained by Simon Miller, and written by Aaron Mitchell. Ahead, one and a quarter of the margins. The time for the race, 111.21. Let's go to Gareth, about to join us, and he's down with Trevor Andrews. Joins us, Trevor. Great performance by this unbeaten Colt now. Yeah, most certainly. Um, I was, a, I was uh, hopeful more so than confident today. I was just a bit concerned about where he'd be from that barrier. Uh, I just said to Jared, like, there's a lot of speed in this, but he's just got explosive gate speed, and, um, you know, he ended up popping up outside the leader and then getting to a nice lead and had a bit of a soft sectional there for a while. But, you know, he's only a baby against more seasoned horses so i think the win had probably a little bit more credit than it looked like and as pete hall pointed out straight after the race it, it isn't easy for any three-year-old to take on the older horses in a race like this on perth cup day and lead all of the way exactly i mean he's uh, he's he's a high quality colt that uh we need to probably look after him and he's uh he's still an entire so we'll um, look after his future and try and place him well but these written tycoon colts they you know, they're good short course sprinting type horses and uh, we look after him, he might be around for a winter bottom at the end of the year. Okay, so do you take him to the paddock now, give him a little bit of a rest and then bring him back? Well, he'll go to a 74 Raider if Mr Malpass looks after us there. We only won by a small margin, so... <laughs> a little message to the handicapper. <laughs> message to Mr Malpass, but um, we'll just go through our grades with him and uh, um, the Magic Millions three-hour race is a nice option. And uh, if he pulls up well, that'll tell us what we do. I just had a look up at the, the commentary box. He puts his thumb up there, Mr. Mel Pass, anyway. Sir Ian, sorry. Yes, yeah, Sir Ian. Well done. Job well done. You, gotta, you, you can find a good horse, can't you, Trevor? 
Well, we've sort of threw a lot of slow ones of late, but I've got some really good support from some wonderful owners, so we've got a good group behind us. And once again, the head of the trainers looking immaculate with the outfit today. Job well done, Trevor. Thank you, Gareth. There we go, Trevor Andrews, and he picks up the last race on Perth Cup Day. Jared Noski brings up a double. Both his winners today, it's been JJ Noski at his very best, dictating terms out in front. And he's about to join Matty Kelly after the performance of that three-year-old in the last race. Got the chocolates in the Summer Scorcher aboard Battle Hero, led all the way then. Leads all the way on this occasion, illustrious tycoon. Just spoke before, he's talented, he's got the breeding on his side, but he's got a fair bit of bulldog in him as well. Yeah, he's a tough little bugger. He, um, you know, he's, got, he's got a little attributes of a real good colt, and he, um, he feels good, looks good, and he's quite tough today. I didn't really have to lead. I, I thought the first 100 I was going to see outside Troy on 14, but um, the one outside him just kept kind of make me go up and eyeball Troy, and when I did, he just took charge of me a bit, but you, know, you can't really pull him back, so I had to go with him, and um, yeah, then he relaxed nice in front and kicked away. We heard Trevor touch on it, so I'm happy to mention it now. We do have a 1,200 metre Group 1 at the end of each year by the name of the Winterbottom Stakes. <laughs> Could you see this boy progressing to a race like that in about 12 months' time? Oh, hopefully. Um, yeah, it's still 11 months away, but um, yeah, hopefully he's there by then. And hopefully you're in the saddle. A double today. You had a double Saturday. Finished 2017 off in style. Starting the new year off in style as well. Well done. Yeah, thank you very much. Jared Noski, too good in the last, and it's illustrious tycoon, the 12. Too good for Shady Gray. Oliver's travels fresh. Nice return. Great performance by illustrious tycoon, Shady Gray, and Oliver's travels back in third. Fourth home there was Royal Command. I thought Royal Command was pretty good first up. Maybe a watch horse later on in its preparation. Yeah, just had to go a little bit wide and come home late, so obviously you'll be an improver later on. Here's the concluding stages of illustrious tycoon getting the job done nicely. Jared always had a lap full of horse right now, Pete Hall, and he just said, come on, boy, the youngster, and he gave a really good kick. Yeah, striking performance. Won't he be winning again? He will be winning again, and maybe, Trevor said, later on in the year, it is the start of 2018, we might see him in the big dance.